I can't believe it's 2016 and we still have to talk. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, what the fuck is that thing? Feminism isn't about hating men. It simply isn't. By saying that it is- My god, it's like Sasha Gray grew a dick, a deeper larynx, and an Adam's apple. I can't even pay attention to what this abomination is saying. All I can think of is- What the hell are you? Okay, okay. I gotta chill out with that shit. The sooner I refute everything this freak show says, the sooner I don't have to keep looking at his horrific profile. Okay, let's rewind a little bit. Now, what were your opening points? I can't believe it's 2016 and we still have to talk about this. What exactly is that supposed to mean? What does the number of the year have to do with anything you're trying to say in this video? Feminism isn't about hating men. It simply isn't. Really? <laughs> well, with all the kill all men hashtags, the insanely important feminist figures saying shit like how men are nothing but walking dildos, how all men should be put in camps and denied basic autonomy, how all men are potential rapists and betrayers, the male tears cups, encroaching on men's rights meetings, you sure as shit could have fooled me. By saying that it is, you're misrepresenting feminism. Actually, that's where you're fucking wrong. You see, feminism is already being misrepresented. Originally, feminism was about striving to achieve female equality. However, a lot of the feminist movements in the early 20th century already got what they wanted. Today, women are paid equally, they get the same quality of education as men, and they all have the same job opportunities that men have. Now, the school of feminism that you subscribe to is really nothing more than just a bunch of fat, lazy, spoiled, rich cunts bitching about how uncomfortable they get whenever they see a man spread his legs on a train. They basically took all of their whining and pouting, added a bunch of fancy-sounding words like privilege and patriarchy to its intricacies, and basically called it feminism. So, no. Feminism really doesn't need my help to be misrepresented, as the so-called feminism that you believe in is already a grotesque misrepresentation of the original idea. This is a logical fallacy called a straw man. I hate to break it to you, princess, but that's not how a straw man works. In order for a straw man to exist, there actually has to be an initial argument for it to misrepresent. You see, saying feminism hates men is not a straw man by itself, because it's not a response to another statement. Now, if I were to say that feminism is about hating men and then you were to respond saying something trite and petulant like, well, why do you hate women? That is a classic example of a straw man. Hope you've learned something today. When you say that feminists hate men, you make yourself sound reasonable because you don't hate men. But here's the thing, neither do I, and neither do most feminists. Ah, but you see how I said most? That must be proof that some feminists hate men, right? Well, yeah, sure, probably, somewhere. Yeah, sure, probably, so- Are you fucking kidding me? Even the most naive of feminist sycophants acknowledge that a ubiquitous amount of feminists are voracious man-haters. Holy shit. Daredevil isn't as fucking blind as you are. Feminism isn't an organization. We don't have meetings, we don't have leaders, we don't have rules for membership. What a load of horse shit. So, the National Women's Organization, He For She, Feminist Majority Foundation, Slut Walks, Tumblr, Jezebel.com, any number of liberal college campuses, none of these ring a bell? None of these are spots where feminists congregate and talk about shit at all? How, in God's name, do you intend to lecture us about how feminism is misrepresented when it's obvious as hell that you actually know less about it than the people that you're arguing against? If someone wants to call themselves a feminist while doing things that I would 100% consider not feminist, they're well within their rights to do so. But feminism as a whole doesn't hate men. Congratulations, you just contradicted the entire point of this whole video right here at only the 42nd mark. I have to admit, I'm a little impressed. How can you be lenient on people who do things that are uncharacteristic of feminism and yet say that feminism is about equality? If you just let anything slide, then that kind of sends the message that it's not really about anything. 
you're basically admitting that feminism has no integrity and no standards for its followers to adhere to. Why would you ever want to advocate something like that? Why does feminism even have a set goal in mind if it never disciplines any of its followers to realize that goal? It's an idea without a purpose, without direction. Holy fucking shit, I'm not even a bloody minute into this video. Someone help me. First up is toxic masculinity, which is a phrase that refers to all of the negative aspects of our culture's definition of masculinity. So basically, when you're raised as a man in our society, you're raised with certain ideas about what it means to be a man, and some of those are very harmful. Toxic masculinity asserts that for men to be considered men, they have to be violent, aggressive, dominant, angry, and never cry or show emotions. If this brand of masculinity is so toxic, then why are so many women attracted to it? There's a reason why most romance novels have male lead characters who are alpha male manly men who have eight-pack abs, fight bears, cure diseases, and who are overprotective psychos. An overwhelming percent of the consumers who buy said novels are women. Why do you think the abused housewife stereotype exists in such prevalence? It's because it's not hard to tell that there are a shitload of women out there with these kinds of proclivities. Toxic masculinity assumes all men to be potential rapists. No, actually feminists are the ones saying that all men are potential rapists. We know that there are men who don't want to be violent and aggressive, but lash out because it's the manly thing to do. You seem to be assuming that all or most men are insecure at a level where they constantly need to prove themselves as men. We know that men should be able to cry and show their emotion. You also seem to be assuming that there are no men who cry. The reason that a lot of men don't react to difficult situations with tears is that it really wouldn't accomplish anything. Men are creatures of action. We work best when we're actually doing stuff. I'm not sure you would know this considering you're evidently a pretty well-off 20-something who likes to play with his mom's makeup and fake lashes, but the real world is a hard, and uncaring place. Whenever problems arise, they don't magically get fixed by you sitting on the floor and bawling your eyes out. Second is the patriarchy, the big scary word that's always associated with feminism. And arguably the biggest lie associated with feminism. Patriarchy in its simplest form is a social system where men hold the most power. In our society, that's obvious in a bunch of different ways. A majority of elected officials being men, all of the presidents ever being men, and most major CEOs being men. If the patriarchy is about giving men all the power and benefiting only men, then why are there women of power at all? Kind of a piss-poor excuse for a patriarchy, wouldn't you say? When feminists talk about dismantling the patriarchy or destroying the patriarchy, we aren't talking about destroying men, we're talking about achieving equality through justice. What are you, Batman now? What justice? What the hell does that even mean? Fighting the patriarchy isn't fighting men. No, it's just about fighting everyone who disagrees with you, whether in a friendly way or a hostile one. Third is gender roles, which you've pretty clearly seen laid out if you've ever been to a toy store. Blue is for boys, pink is for girls. Guns, tanks, and cars are for boys. Dolls, flowers, and makeup are for girls. Gender roles, at their core, are completely arbitrary. No, they aren't, you imbecile. Gender roles date all the way back to our origins as a species. You see, in the days when we were primitive hunter-gatherers, the men were the ones who hunted and killed things since they naturally possessed more physical strength than the women, and the women were the ones who cared for the children since their maternal instincts only grew and grew due to having to spend more time with children than the men. It became a mutually beneficial arrangement between the sexes. And it's an idea that humans have acclimated to for eons, taking many forms and appearances. The reasons why cars, guns, and superheroes are marketed more to boys and dolls, makeup, and fashion are marketed more to girls is because an overwhelming amount of boys and girls play with those certain toys. It's not because of the culture around them, it's simply the preferences they were born with. Don't believe me? There have been experiments conducted on monkeys that yield incredibly similar results. So, sorry your highness, this is one thing that you can't blame on your foul patriarchy. Men are supposed to be dominant and women are supposed to be submissive. Men are supposed to work a real job while women are supposed to stay home and take care of the kids. You do realize women have the right to work the exact same jobs as men. 
right? And on top of all of that, gender roles completely erase the existence of gender non-conforming people. Because there are people who feel in between or outside binary genders, or people who don't feel any attachment to gender at all. Well, whoop de fucking do for them! It doesn't change the fact that they are specifically born as men and women. And talking about gender as a binary pretends that they don't exist. That's because they don't exist. There is not a single organism in the entire history of this goddamn planet that has more than two genders. The reason why genders exist is a very simple one. They exist so that animals can procreate. Now, there are dozens of simple microscopic prokaryotic and eukaryotic organisms like fungi or bacteria that are capable of reproduction without the aid of a mate. However, the idea of gender doesn't really apply to them. So unless all these prima donnas preaching to the high heavens about how they identify as a new gender suddenly find a way to create other humans asexually, I'm not going to consider them a new gender. If you don't like it, then you can blow me, which is something I get the feeling you have quite a bit of experience doing. Fourth is sexism, which you've definitely heard of. Sexism is the institutionalized discrimination against a gender or genders. Because it has to be institutionalized, that is, built into our societal systems, you can only be sexist against women or other gender minorities. Okay, there is a very, very, very big problem with the idea of institutional sexism and racism for that matter. When you assume that there is institutional sexism or racism, then you are basically claiming that every employee of every institution in the entire Western Hemisphere is a sexist or a racist. You see, because institutions are run by people, so you're pretty much stating that you know everyone who has ever worked and still works in an institution in the entire country well enough to know that they are sexist and racist, and that they will do everything in their power to benefit white men and disadvantage women and minorities, which is fucking outlandish. So apart from not presenting any evidence to this claim, anybody with even a centimeter of common sense would probably be able to come up with the same logical conclusion that I just offered. You're welcome. Sexism is baked into the very foundation of everything that we do. It's how most characters in any show or movie are men. You must really be out of touch with the real world because from where I'm standing, it looks a hell of a lot like female protagonists in movies and TVs are fucking all over the place. How women are catcalled and harassed on the streets daily. Once again, you're assuming shit. You're assuming that all women actually don't like to be catcalled. And it's how women are paid less than men for doing the same work. Women aren't paid less than men for doing the same work. They're paid less than men for doing less of the same work. And doing lower paying work than men usually do. I don't even need evidence for this. There's like a thousand articles that tear apart the wage gap on the internet. Fifth is male privilege, which goes hand in hand with sexism. If sexism is the idea that gender minorities are at a disadvantage, male privilege is the idea that men are at an advantage. Oh yeah, what an advantage men have. I mean, we aren't given a choice when we're drafted into a war. We have the most suicides, the most homeless people the most rape victims. Boy, I tell you, that male privilege has done us a lot of motherfucking good. But in general, if women are losing out, men are gaining something. Proof of this would be nice. When you're loud and demanding, you're more likely to be called strong than bossy. Absolute universal bullshit. When I meet a man who's loud and demanding, I find him to be exactly that. Loud and demanding. I don't consider him a badass who takes charge. Lastly, there's misogyny, the hatred of women. My god, he actually got something right. Yes, that is exactly the correct definition of misogyny. I'm impressed. Because you can definitely do or say misogynistic things without necessarily being a misogynist. Ah, shit, spoke too soon. But when someone says, hey, what you just said is misogynistic, they're not saying, you're a terrible person who hates women. I'd like to see some examples of this, since I've known a lot of women who have disowned me as a friend simply because I said something that they consider to be misogynistic. And I'm pretty sure I'm far from the only person who's experienced that. Misogyny means standing up to things that degrade or demean women, and oftentimes men feel like it's their right to be able to treat women like that. So, in a nutshell, female discrimination is awful, but... 
male discrimination is perfectly fine and acceptable. Gotcha. These are the six things that feminists hate that aren't men. Toxic masculinity, the patriarchy, gender roles, sexism, male privilege, and misogyny. Okay, to summarize all his points, point one, all men should become perpetual whiners and abandon all constructive activities to dress and behave like women, just like you. Point two, there's an invisible force that works to benefit men only and oppress women, but in actuality really sucks ass at doing both. Point three, thousands of years of evolution and adaptation to human society should all just be thrown out the window because a few eccentric millennials don't like how boys play with guns and girls play with dolls. Point four, every government employee working in a western first world country is sexist towards women and only works to benefit men. And you know this because... Uh, 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 polar bears. Point five. Despite being at the top of most negative statistics concerned with mental health, suicide, rape, murder, and homelessness, men are still the most privileged beings in human civilization. Point six. If you think about bad things but never act on them, you're still a bad person and you deserve to be punished as one. Is that about sum it up there, precious? I hope that's clear. Feminists don't hate men. Saying that we do avoids addressing our real arguments. Newsflash, sweetheart. If you believe all men are potential rapists, that men aren't capable of suffering sexism or discrimination, and you dismiss all the turmoil that men experience every single day to persist in your narrative of unshakable privilege, then I think that's a pretty sufficient amount of evidence to suggest that yes, you do in fact hate men. Oh, and I have one more thing I'd like to tell you before I conclude your video. You're one ugly motherfucker. Oh, holy shit, guys. I deserve a medal for sitting through that drivel. That was a monumental test of my patience. And if you'll excuse me, I think I need to see a therapist or something. That idiot's face is going to haunt my fucking nightmares. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and hunt well.